you want to say hi to all the VOD watchers? Hi, VOD watchers. I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're practicing that self care. Um, we're doing this just to get 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 it done and over with. I think for the most part, I think all of us have all of us have different expectations as to what may come. Um, yeah, best way for me to put it. After after this, uh, it's probably gonna be a small break or a big break because we don't know if I don't even know if I'm gonna continue with uh other things. Maybe we'll probably throw in some new anime, old anime, who knows? But anyway, let's just get to it, man. I don't really see a reason to 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 wait right or give me a second i think i might see a reason to wait jimmy give me a quick second let us go all right cool let's go guys それ。うん。ごめんと。ハートアンダーブレードの両腕が入っている。そうか。うん。あららぎくんの言いたいことはわかるよ。あのギロチンカッターがよく約束を守ったなってことだろ。ずいぶんと出し渋ったぜ。そ
Bro, you gotta fucking yeah. <laughs> My dude's like, oh yeah, he could. Ha he probably could have handled all four of them, dude. If he's able to do this stealthily, fuck, dude. Or all five of them, I guess, now. Apparently, dude. Apparently, what the fuck? Oh. Hey, yo. Get out of my fucking screen. Force battle. Oh, she knows a fucking beast, man. Straight up godlike being, apparently. Apparently. I don't remember that zero in the movie, neither did I. Oh, yeah, dude. Guys, this is before, right? Like, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to fuck it up, but like, no, not before Bake. This is before even like Hanekawa, right? So this is before Spring. Yeah? Okay, good. Now I wonder who the fuck scares Oshino, though. Because if he's that OP that he's able to bring down like a vampire like nothing. ま、でもさすがにそろそろお腹も空いてくる頃だろうと思うよ。なんせもう<笑> See, that's sort of my thought process is if you become a vampire, do, do your sperm become invalidated in any way you perform, like, you know, because of the whole immortality complex, or does something change in that? Or are you just able to have kids and are they half vampire, half human? That's some shady shit, man. Yeah, dude, this is about to be some fucking holy war last minute fucking shit. <laughs> the, the simp game is real, ladies and gentlemen. The simp game is real. <laughs> <笑>怒らなくていいのかって。構わん、構わん。許して使わす。って言うかどうでもいい。ああ、傷ショット。盛り上がっているところ<笑><笑> <laughs> this is some Metal Gear fucking solid, like, shots, you know? 
a helicopter float running around. <laughs> Yeah, bro, like... さて、何を話したものかね。話したいことがあるんじゃなかったのか。その言い方は正確ではなかったね。話したいことがあるのではなく、何でも良いから話したかっただけじゃ。それが僕を人間に戻すにあたって必要なことなのか。必要じゃない
how does this work, dude? Like, first off, first off, this is this isn't even like half as big as this person. What the fuck? <laughs> Second off, yeah, yeah, <laughs> guys, guys. じゃあ、なんだ。自殺じゃ。退屈は人を殺すというのじゃね。大抵の場合、吸血鬼は200年も生きれば死にたくなってしまうようじゃな。その男に変わったところがあるとすれば、吸血鬼になってからわずか数年
Mommy Milky's though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we still got 13 minutes. Thanks for the reminder though. See, I, I wonder this. Can vampires have kids, right? And if so, why not make the next fucking race? Hey, I'm just throwing seven eye holdings. Uh, instead of 7 Eleven. But also, I feel like she's gonna turn fucking bad pretty quickly. Or someone's gonna trigger something. He goes back and she already left for milk. Bro. Bro, if you get back there and she's not there, fucking run, dude. There's too much hope in your eyes. Oh. Bro, there's too much hope in your eyes. Also, very symbolic of like the Sendrigo Haro fall with the stairs as well. Oh, bro, what the fuck? I mean... I mean, she was hungry, bruh. <laughs> She's eating. Bro, what do you expect? Okay, dude. You're acting... You're acting like you did not just get bit by a vampire before. Yeah, bro. <laughs> She said she was hungry. Yeah, he do be a little bent. <laughs> Damn, she even goes for the face. See, now, now I gotta throw this question back out to you guys. Are you guys attracted to a guy or a girl that was a vampire like this that you were a servant under? Would you guys risk it for the biscuit? <laughs> Pop trait, that's exactly what I was thinking. But aside from that, vice versa as well, man. Well, actually, we don't even know where they stop. Yeah, we don't even know where they stop. It could literally be like intestines up. Oh. 
no, I don't have the balls. So, the dudes having a full on breakdown, even though it's what vampires do? Barabara and Ste Nikumo Honemo Noko Sazen Tabete Kitanda. No, don't eat people, you're sexy, no. <laughs> okay, class. Sorry, I can't go to Skranai Baino. Kanojo no Eo Hoku. I mean, it sort of comes with the immediate knowledge that hey, you're a vampire, you're probably gonna have to bite into people, you know? Kongo kiss shot to a ningen o tabereba. Shokuji o toreba. Sorry, was sweated. I thought you didn't care about them. Interesting how now you do. I always find it... That's what I was about to say. I always find it interesting how you put yourself in the center for blame for everyone, everyone's other issues. Like... This is a part of her nature that was there before you, right? What she chooses to do or not to do is her decision, not really your problem, you know? I always find this interesting, even in Bakemonogatari, that he puts himself as the center of the issues for other people as well. It, like, you know, or trying to solve the other, you know, put himself in a, in a position to be in the center of other people's, like, solving issues or hero complexes and 101 things. I'm always like, wait a minute, they've got, like, this doesn't even make sense, like... Theoretically, they could have kept going on with their life having to deal with that issue without you necessarily being there, you know? Like, you chose to be a part of this. You chose to go out and get all this stress. It's not, no, it's not his responsibility. It, it ain't his responsibility at all. Like, just, that's called savior complexes, at, like, in other aspects as well. Yeah, yeah. That, that's exactly it. There's, there's, there, there's things like a savior complex, right? Or, you know, if guilt for example I, I think it was like uh what is it like save your guilt or whatever when you get literally saved from dying for whatever reason and all of a sudden you get guilt tripped into doing something right so there's a hundred and one things out there but nonetheless it's still like dude you should have known that like even beforehand like let's say a vampire's out there you walk out there you follow the noises you got eaten whatever this is all part of their nature dude a hundred and ten percent Man literally wanted to die for a hot vampire girl. True. True. Oh,いやだ。いやなのに。いやなのに。僕だって。吸血鬼だ。ああ、そうそう。最近お腹すかな。Are you going for the mommy milkers or what are you going for, man? Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Oh shit. What the fuck did I press? Oh no. Hello? Fuck, where were we at? Is this going to automatically load it back up for me? Oh shit. I don't even know where we were. Oh crap. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Oh, it's a good thing it happened then. It, I, where were we, man? Here, I'll, I'll get to it. Give me a second. <laughs> it checked it right out of there. <laughs> okay, we were past that. Alt A4, dude. Alright, I'm trying to find, trying to find it. Uh, Minute 24, thank you, thank you, mate. No, TOS at 33, I believe. Yeah, they have... Someone send the TOS timestamps again. Or 31. See, this is... Yeah, there you go. Tasty. Mm. <laughs> 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 
るだろうこれ死ぬしかないじゃん死ぬしかない Bra. Bra. Ah, so da. Demo, Hanekawa niwa i t a k a t a yona. Ketai bango mo meru adomo. Boku ga mizukara shokyo shita. Right? Like, dude, you're about to turn human. Kanojo kizuskeru. Ish. Shokyo shita. Bro, 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 you're about to turn human, dude. Don't. What the fuck are you? Your impulsions are your.、Oh. You couldn't wait till like the next day? You're literally one night away, brother. We know that she makes it because of Bake, but no, no, Hanekawa is not best girl, brother. Uh uh. Let, 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 let me step on in there, man. <laughs> Ara Arakun is best girl. Are you kidding me? Sadly, it can't.、Uh, it's just the way that this streaming site is. Ah, show me, sweat the pants me out of the room. Ah, oh, my, a book to you, Otoko, go, Kai, stay. 僕はたとえ目の前に裸の女の子がいたとしてもその子が見ないでと言ったら見ないことができる男だそれは普通いやー羽川僕がどれほどのジェントルメンなのか How big of a gentleman I am? あ、uh, sure ジェントルメンは複数形<笑>まあそれが本当なんだったら私としては楽しみだよね。楽しみって何が？新学期になったら、私は荒木くんのジェントルなところをいっぱい見られるってことでしょ。<笑>だから、Bro. 死んじゃダメだよ。Bro。死んじゃダメ。You're one night away. Why'd you? Yeah, dude, you develop. I gotta be honest, Ada Ada Kun has some weird fucking cognitive distortions and attachments just straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Wow, she's making the same arguments I made. Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> And neither are you. Yeah, what the fuck are you going on about?
まさか思わなかったよドラマ剣エピソードキロチンカッタあの三人が人間側の正義だったなんて Were they though? Cause they just did that indiscriminately as well 僕は人間の敵になってしまっただから、oh. 人間に戻るのは諦めるの3155 Got it, thank you 人間に戻りたいって現実に戻りたいってそう言ってたじゃない犠牲者が出てしまったんだ今さら僕だけが望みを叶えるなんてあまりにも虫が良すぎるよ虫がいいって言うなら That's what you wanted at the beginning, yeah, like... 虫が良くないだって自分がしでかしたことを全部投げ出して逃げようとしている心も逃げてるし体も逃げてる違うよ My dude 逃げたいんじゃなくて責任を取りたいんだよこの不死身の命を自ら立つのが僕の罪滅ぼしだ罪に罪を重ねるだけだよ自殺は罪だよ羽川羽川今の僕は人間じゃない吸血鬼だだからああ<笑> the on the face and the characters are fucking amazing. It's the best way I can put it. It's Morbin time. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into a quick TOS time, so it's gonna be a black screen letting y'all know. Yeah, yeah, TOS is incoming, so letting y'all know. Ooh, that's kinky. And TOS time has started, guys. I apologize, but. Okay. Bruh. That's, yeah, that's. <laughs> I want to get eaten. It's like, all right. What time? Till 3309. We're close, guys. We're 36 away. That's Morbin time. There's some. I'm glad you guys can still hear it, but. Bro, why did he put so much physics on that? Okay, I think we're safe now. There we go. <laughs> it's like fuck the fight scene to put all the physics into like boob jiggle. You can probably damage her, bro. And Oshino. Kiroshinkata, 
キスショットの件はもう終わっていることなんだもう誰にも Well, he said there was a balance, right? So. Araragi kun ni mo? Araragi kun ni wa. Tomerare run ja nai no? Dokoro ka. Mo. Yeah, his job's done, hey. Tomerare nai ja nai. Fuck it. Yuiitz no kenzoko de aru Araragi kun wa. Yak ni yeba yuiitz. Kanojo tomerare run sonzai nan ja nai no? I like how she just got her body back and now he has to go and fuck her up. Yo, let me get your limbs back. Yeah, like, yo, I gave your limbs back a little too early. Like, dude. And she has a blade that can fucking slit you. Come on, dude. Come on. Yes. Yes. まあ、そうは言っても、あれ以上エッチのサービスなんて私には思いつかないけどね。38 完全体のキスショットアセロラオリオンハートアンダーブレードがどんな姿なのかまあ。I like the 17 year old so, like the the form the dress bro the 20 whatever year old that she is now is fantastic like the whole concept can someone can someone drop all the concepts of like the actual dress that like uh she wears like throughout because i think that there's a little bit of symbolism in that i'm throwing that out there because the last one is all red the other ones what is it like it's sort of like a ballet looking one it goes from like oh yeah really funny no 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 no. i'm quite literally talking about like because we did color theory right and we did color theory when it came to rent a girlfriend which surprised a lot of you guys so that's sort of what i'm curious about there's a picture containing all we'll grab it thanks geek me あの胸に気を取られているうちに。ルディ。あの胸は戦闘中にすごく揺れる。だからその対策として上司の胸に対する修行を積みたい。お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、お、
So what time is this TOS? It's kind of sus, bro. My hands are above the blanket. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hands on keyboard are above blanket. Forty-two fifty-one. Fuck me, mate. That's like a solid five minutes, bro. Sorry, guys. Here, let me transition into this. Give me a second. Sorry, guys. For those of you guys that are VOD watchers, you're gonna watch my close-up face until this is ready. Redo of Arakun, what? You guys can still hear it though, yeah? Oh, Mr. Savvy, thank you so much for subbing with uh, Prime. Really appreciate it. Oh, you're good, Mr. Savvy. Appreciate it. Hands on keyboard, everyone. Hands on keyboard. I'm actually kind of disgusted, to be honest with you guys. Like, that scared the fuck out of me. Like, if you guys read that little line right there. <laughs> Th think, bro. This is no. Especially if you know, like, what she told us about her backstory and Bake, dude. Like, We're watching, uh... We're watching, uh, fuck, Kisen, Niz yeah, Kisu Monogatari or some shit. 4251, I know, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. We're close, we're close. Actually, why is this discussing me, like, more of him as a character, which is... AZ, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm... See, it's fun... I'm sorry, guys, I have to stop it there. It's funny how... Uh, it's funny how people jump over hoops, right? To be like, it's just because he's not thinking. You know, he has a savior complex, but it's not his fault. So on and so forth. But the instant horniness comes through, he's literally like, I want you to go ahead and say this so that if you bring it up in the court of law, we can say that you said that it was okay for me to fondle your breast. He's thinking so logically when it comes to sex and his own sex driven self that when it comes to quite literally everything else in the world all of a sudden it's it's my fault oh no like he's headed he's beating his chest like a you know like a, one of those i hate to put it this way like a bible thumper type thing dude but when it comes to sex it's like quite literally he's the most logical like he, in such a creepy fucking way that he's like i want you to say this i want you to say that and it's like it, it seems it, it seems as though yeah dude bible thumpers are people that quite literally like can't see sort of logic or like other reasons outside of what is written inside the scripture for some certain people, you know, but Oh, you think this is this is a kink? No, this is I I'm sorry, but if somebody tells you to go ahead and say certain things and so on and so forth then... 
it, it's it, it's a bit bit off. Yeah, dude. And it's even worse, guys. I'm sorry. It's even fucking worse if you think about the context of what he's done to the other characters, including the ghost little character and the girl that like is her sister's friend that gave her the bloomers. Think about the context of this. If Ara Arakun was your friend, would you want him around your sister or your siblings? Let's just throw that out there with the context of what you know. Like... Yeah. Just throwing that out there, guys. Would you feel comfortable? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, ladies and gentlemen. Let me bring it up in a second. There we go. チキン、ちなみにどれくらいの覚悟だったのか聞かせていただけますでしょうか。正直胸を揉まれるくらいじゃ済まないんだろうなって思ってた。ああ、そっか。そうなんだ。私の初め。I think I'm going to join after the hentai again. <laughs> Fox. <laughs> the hentai part is over, man. You're good. まあ、ありかなって。ありなんだ。それなのに。Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't there a culture specifically where you, like I hate to throw this out there, right? I know that there's a couple cultures out there where there's been a lot of complaints specifically about like uh, European, uh, American, other individuals out there. They like, for example, it's been happening a lot, a lot lately with like Korean culture. And I hate to throw this out there, right? Not necessarily all Korean culture, but just talking about the drinking culture in general, right? Uh, specifically coming to consent, right? Where for some reason people think that just because you've had a couple of drinks or whatever, that consent is no longer like required right in any way shape or form the reason why i'm throwing this out there right is because like when it comes to like i, I guess things like this if this was hanekawa's imagination if this was hanekawa's imagination about like what yeah pop so what i'm talking about is like uh i'm sure you guys have heard the term gaijin hunters from like sexual ethics varies across a lot of cultures that's sort of what i'm hitting punyesh but even throughout that there should be a common like staple as to what consent is because right when it comes to situations like this who is often under a power dynamic often under issues where if something pops up they're more vulnerable right and oftentimes that's that's females or people of color if we're going to be straight up you know, because oftentimes, for example, you go into a different country, right? Let's say that you meet up with someone, a person of color, a person, whatever, a woman, anything like this, right? If, if it's a person of color, who's more likely to get, uh, say, something ends up happening completely normal? What kind of consent matters and when it is real? What does the thing? Consent, no matter what it is, consent always has to be present, no matter what the fuck it is, right? Because at the point in time, if someone says no, and like, you know, you go, like, you can continue through with it, hey, that's, that's an issue if there's drinking involved right because apparently there's cultures where again if you're drinking yeah under the influence can't legally consent to a lot of places but there's still a lot of places out there right and that's sort of what i'm what i'm heading at because like if you're drinking you can't consent nonetheless you shouldn't drive let's put it this way if you can't drive a vehicle or you're not able to go ahead and like uh you know, due to substances or anything like that, you shouldn't be able to consent. Just straight up. Uh, there are other places out there, and this is sort of what I'm hitting at, right? Which is quite literally, when it comes to other cultures out there, there seems to be this weird thing where it's like, oh, I've worked up the courage, right? 
throwing this out there in this terms of like drinking or of doing certain things. So therefore, or like, you know, drinking with this person, I can have my way with them. And that's a fucked up way of thinking. That's so scarring. That's so trauma, generational trauma driven, right? The reason why I bring this up, right? And by the way, you guys can look into this. There's a lot of cultures out there where this happens. We're quite not just drinking, but like there's a thing called like social stigma and drinking where it's quite literally, oh, yeah, everyone in this thing is going to go drink. So you're going to come drink with us. And all of a sudden there's peer pressure. And if this is allowed in the society, can you guess what happens if there are people in there that already have malice and intent? Oh, yeah, I'll just take this person back home. Some situation can happen and boom, all of a sudden, because socially it's accepted, there's still a lot of fucking trauma and issues out there, guys. And that's sort of what I'm what I'm trying to bring up. It's like we're in situations where stuff like this is happening. You have generational trauma that is being built uh, and even like weird inferences socially where you're. OK. And let's say that, that stuff like that is involved, you know, even if it's like pretending to be drunk, but you're still drinking a coworker. Yeah, there you go. So it's leading into a culture of trauma, right? If you have someone like Ara Arakun, imagine this, right? Not even like Ara Arakun, uh, fuck it, Ara Arakun or somebody else be like, hey, I want to take them back home. Something ends up happening. He can say, hey, we were both drunk. It's fine. And that's fucked up immediately, dude. Like, bro. Uh, bro if it's a if it's a work culture thing uh not just there but anywhere where like you know or society uh is accepting of things like this it, there's bound to be like generational trauma or issues of boundaries and that's sort of what i'm getting at anyway uh send it through me to uh through discord man just put it in general channel that'd be great <laughs> あの、then let's continue this next semester. He hooks up with Sinjo Gahara instead. <laughs> oh no. You could have just said, I love Rem. Not could have said, I love Emilia, my bad. <laughs> Yo. Bro, I know. Rem, Ram, Emilia, don't matter. Bro, she's even being fucking reasonable and saying, hey, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. わしは<笑> Let's go pick up the kids for lunch. Unu 
いや、やっぱり最初から分かっちゃいたんだ。ただ、目をそらしていただけなんだ。お前のために死のうと僕は思ったんだからな。それはつまり、お前が人を食うことを許容したってことだ。でも、そのせいで人が死ぬところまで
仕方のないことじゃがのああわしも実は元人間なんじゃよ Wait, what? 元人間つまりはドラマツルギやウヌと同じじゃのああ修正じゃなかったのか人間だった頃のことはほとんど忘れてしもうたがのそれなりにいい家柄じゃったようじゃぞ<笑>まあ年齢が300を超えた吸血鬼にはもう純正も眷属もあったものではないがねああそれがどうしたいや久しく忘れておったというだけじゃん You know what he should have done? He should have picked up some jujitsu before going to go fight her. Because I think if you're able to go ahead and put her in a good lock, let's see how, how effective all, or her, her and him in a good lock. Yeah, this fight would have been over a, a while ago. <laughs> I mean, if you can't use your arms, you're sort of choking out every time. Oh, gosh. Yeah, right, the med. He's not wrong though, like... Hold on, dude. If you can do like Fire Raga like that, can't you? This is some fucking Cloud versus Sephiroth shit, man. <laughs> True geek me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he always wanted to be. New, new way of motorboating, right? I guess. What's up, Rex? How you doing?
Guys, this anime goes from fucking wild to wilder. Like, the fight scenes, man. The fight scenes. It is Mormon time. Rex, how you doing? Are you streaming today, Rex? I hope you are. But yeah, dude, what a wild, wild fucking show. What a wild three movies that we watched so far. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Guys, follow Rex if you guys haven't. Rex is amazing as well. Wants to die. Damn, dude. How wild is this show gonna get, dude? Alright, do I need to go into a TLS scene or are we good? Just out of out of but まだわしの血は半分ほど残っておるようじゃぞ。ここまで血を抜かれてしまえば今はもう動けんが。しかし早く<笑> あなた。最初から荒木君に殺すつもりだったのか。荒木君を人間に戻すために。たわけたことを言うなよ。携帯職。何の根拠が。じゃあ、どうやって荒木君を人間に戻すつもりだったのか。それを教えてください。知れたこと
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go.
Well, we finished that. Holy crap, guys. I didn't think we'd actually be able to go ahead and go through and finish the, the series. I think it really does give a little bit more motivation towards them. Like, you know, just general arts and stuff. So I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the way that this uh, managed to go ahead and end and wrap up. That was pretty nice. Pretty, it really did set up Bakke quite nicely, actually. At, at least the way I'm thinking about it, you know. The rest of the series is quite different. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, quite different in one way, mate. You can't just say quite different. It's, it's got to be a little bit more than that, right? <laughs> There's got to be a little bit more than that in a good way. Uh, guys, if I have to, uh, like, I'm not comfortable covering up my skit or, like, my skin, my uh, screen for more than, like, four or five minutes, man. It's a little, little uncomfy in that regard, you know? Like, especially if there's like TOS, especially unjustified TOS or just random TOS being thrown in there. Like, mm. <laughs> but anyway, no, guys, I really appreciate all of you guys being here. You guys are fucking great. Um, what, what else can I say? Uh, this show really brought in a lot of different opportunities to go ahead and have a discussion. We might go ahead and, uh, Wait a little bit, if anything. Well, it has to be the Hanekawa incident. That's sort of what happens in between Kisu and Bake. Best way to put it, right? But after all of that, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, that's logically speaking. But and nonetheless, guys, hey, I appreciate all of you guys for being here. We finished that series. We've, we're going to go ahead and finish a lot of the series that we're starting and also get through... Uh, everything that we can get through. Um, I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to go to bed because I do have to wake up early in the morning. Appreciate you guys so, so much.